We all know it's important to eat a balanced diet to stay healthy, but with all of the choices available to us, including time constraints, sometimes making the best choices are not that easy. As part of our A New Me in 2023 series this month, we're joined right now by Lori Kehoe, the director of the Eating Disorder Services at Sanford Behavioral Health, to help us consider some key points about food in our lives. Lori, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Now, our relationship with food can certainly be pretty complex. It means a lot of things to a lot of people. At Sanford, you guys assist with helping people with eating disorders. So let's talk a little bit about some of the concerns about how we view food. Yes, one of the main concerns that, that we look at um, is the timeline of when the eating disorder began. And more times than not, we see that the eating disorder began with a diet, mm. a resolution to change, to become healthier, quote unquote, um, to change the way your body looks. Um, and at Sanford, what we're really trying to promote and in the community is the awareness that all bodies are different and they're supposed to be different. And wellness really includes nourishing the body and moving the body with joy. Because of course, our purpose in feeling good is to do what we're meant to do on this planet, right? To have a fulfillment, a fulfilling job, a fulfilling career, et cetera. So we really promote wellness rather than healthy eating. So the mindset is that we don't restrict, that all foods fit. How do you approach people with overeating? So portion control is a big part mm -hmm. of dealing with a healthy weight. So if people do what many refer to as emotional eating, how do you give tips on to keep that in control? So we really do look at the psychological reasons that are influencing the overeating episodes. And so we want to get to the core matter of that. You know, what, what is really going on there that is causing you um, to really harm your body, either by restriction or by overeating? Um, and really work through that with the clients. Once we were able to do that and the client is really able to look at why they do what they do, we can help them make the necessary changes toward helpful habits in their life. What are some of the uh, key signs that someone may have uh, the beginnings of an eating disorder? So you will notice if it's your family member, friend, et cetera, or even in yourself, if it is um, ritualistic, there are patterns happening where you are restricting yourself um, daily for a longer period of time. It becomes a pattern. Um, you're isolating from others, from your family. You're not going to family functions. You're not going to restaurants with your friends. You know, you're not socializing the same way. You're becoming more isolated. Um, and also the denial is very similar um, to substance use disorder. So there are a lot of, a lot of correlations between those two illnesses. Um, so we really look for patterns mm -hmm. over sometimes a short period of time. You can tell that an eating disorder is in full swing. So what in closing then do you think are some of the best practices that people need to keep in mind for 2023 that really do want to make a change toward healthy eating? Balance. Balance and um, kind of veering away from thinking that some things are good and some things are bad in terms of food. Um, balance, 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 and moving your body and being joyful and doing things that you enjoy okay. and enjoying food. Lori, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.